Hi, I'm Diana from Norman's Musical Instruments. Um, today I'm going to do a little blog video about the features and differences of Axis AXS2 and the Yamaha P105. So right here I've got the Axis AXS2 digital piano. This is our own brand here at Norman's. Um, it offers a great value for money, so it's brilliant if you're on a budget. Um, it, it has a massive range of sounds, so you've got 599 voices, 203 styles, which for a digital piano at this price is amazing. <laughs> and also it's got a fully weighted 88 note keyboard, so you know it's brilliant if you like to play piano style. You've got a lot of control um, over how you sound, so you've got your dual and split functions. You can regulate your touch, you've got your DSP effects. Um, you know, your brilliance and all the different things like that. It's got nice big speakers for a clear sound as well. Um, you've got your record function, the chord modes and things like that. So everything that you would usually find in a keyboard, but on a digital piano. So, um, you know, if you're looking for like a best of both worlds, that would be a brilliant option. And then over here, I've got the Yamaha P105. Um, I'd say this one's slightly slimmer. It is a little bit more expensive than the Axis, however, it's got a slightly nicer piano sound. The action would be better with it being a Yamaha as well, because they've had loads of experience and things like that, so you'd expect that. Um, also, it's a gradually weighted keyboard, so it feels more like a grand piano. It's got fewer sounds, so you've got about 14 different voices. Um, you've got some effects like the piano style and things like that, and the split and dual as well. So you've got some things to play around with, but not too much. So I'd say it's probably suitable for people that are most more focused on a more kind of pure sounding, nicely weighted digital piano that feels more authentic, basically. Okay, so now I'm gonna just give you a quick demo of each of the pianos so you can see for yourselves whether you like the sound and the sound differences between the two. Right, so just to sum that up, um, I'd say the Yamaha P105 would be the best option for people who are gigging a lot because it's, it's slightly lighter than the Axis, even though the Axis is still portable. Uh, it's nice and slim and things, um, so it's perfect for people that also don't want something that would take up too much room in the house. Um, or, you know, if you're really focused on like the nice sound of the piano, I'd definitely go with that. I mean, I do really like the sound of the P P105 and I'm quite picky about things like that. So, um, whereas the Axis, I'd say it's a brilliant piano for people who want the best of sort of both worlds, um, who are composing or recording a lot, um, who want to try out the different styles and voices. I mean, it's brilliant um, for what it offers you. Um, and also if you've got children or anything like that, the fun factor there is kind of bigger than the P105. Um, both of them are really versatile, so you can purchase them on our website. Um, just the piano, or you can also buy a wooden stand with it, or the wooden stand with the Axis, or the X-Style stands. Um, they come with adapters and music rests, um, and also sustain pedals, and you can buy a pedal board for the P105. Cool, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can email me below. It's diana at normans.co.uk. I'd love to hear from you, or you can comment below, uh, click thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and you can also check out some blogs on our website. Um, and there's also links to the product listings of both pianos and the different packages that they come in. Thank you. Mm -hmm.